Hi everybody. This is Seekai shouting out from the Bronx. I am chilling as usual. I'm not doing too much of anything. It is Monday, 5.51 p.m. And this will be my V-blog on self-love. Close my door. Um, a long time ago, before I, before I actually erased my, my last YouTube channel, I had one video. Um, out of, I think out of, out of all 240 some odd videos that I really, really felt helped not only myself but other people as well. And that was my self-love video. And I think out of all the videos that I really, out of all the videos that I erased, or that I was forced to erase, um, I think that was, that was the one video that I regret most of all having to, having to delete. So this time tonight, what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to make, I'm going to make a new self-love video, new improved, um, just so that it can be in the archives. And um, when you guys need to be inspired, when you need inspiration, you can always refer to it, no matter what's going on in your situation. The reason why I like to talk about self-love so much, the reason why I propose it so much to so many of my friends is because self-love, believe it or not, when you have when you have a true, authentic understanding and appreciation for who you are as a person, there's no situation that you can't that you can't see your way out of. No situation whatsoever. Um, there are a lot of times that I go through life, you know, in my own personal life. And there are a lot of things that really bring, that, that's, that will sometimes bring me down. But I'm always constantly reminded at the end of the day that no matter how many people I'm surrounded by, no matter how many friends I have, that it's just me. And that I can always, always count on me. Always. So hence self-love. Self-love basically is just, it's not a new age concept. And it's, it's, it's a concept that really, that's really, really needed, especially in this day and age where we, you know, are, are, you know, because of online, you know, because of the internet, information, information is, is given to us at the speed of light now. And the world is tremendously smaller. And we are a voyeuristic society. You know, we love you know, very much an altruistic society. We love, you know, we love living our lives through, um, we love living our lives and relating our lives through the experiences of other people. Hence the reason why you're looking at this video. And there's nothing wrong with that. But at the end of the day, I really honestly feel that in order for you to, f we're all special, including yourself, very much so. Not just the people that you see on television, not just the people that you see on YouTube. The only difference between me and you is that it's a fact whereas I have a true understanding of exactly who I am as a person. It took a long time to get there, but I'm finally there. What I really want all of you to do is just, and like I said in my original video, how I got to this point and how a lot of my and how how a lot of my spiritual friends got to this point of self love is getting to know yourself physically. And like I said in the original video, get your mirror, a little mirror. Or you know what? If you if you want to do this as a daily affirmation every single day, look in the mirror and look in your eyes, and fully understand. Look beyond your eyes. Look beyond yourself. This is the most perfect exercise because we're always looking at other people all day long. But when you look in the mirror, the person that's looking back at you, you can truly feel and understand that person if given, if you only give yourself the opportunity to. How perfect that is. The perfect, the person that's looking back at you is unlike any other person that your eyes see. That person is you looking right back at you. And you know how this person feels. You know every single iota of this person. You know what this person doesn't like, what this person does like. And that's you. In this day and age, because I really do believe that a new age is coming, we have to learn 
to appreciate each other, to appreciate ourselves, not just each other. Because when you love yourself, when you fully appreciate yourself, that's when you can fully appreciate other people as well. Because then, because then they become an extension of, that, of the love and appreciation that you have for yourself. People that are very bitter and that are angry all the time. Now, this is not always the case. The people that are usually very bitter and very angry all the time are usually people that have no concept of self-love. They can't possibly love someone else because they don't love themselves. And it's one of the reasons why I talk about self-love. Get your ass in front of the mirror and do what you have to do. Do that work. It's not easy. I'm not going to sit here with my, my yellow behind and tell you, oh, it's easy. It's just going to happen overnight. No, it's not. But do understand, if you make the work, if you put in the effort of getting to know who the hell you are, can't nobody disrupt, crack, or knock down your foundation. And I mean nobody. Because you've built that foundation so strong. And that foundation starts with you. And you alone. It starts with you. You have to understand that. If you want all the success and all the blessings and all the inheritance that Mother God and Father God has for you, you have to open up your eyes to who the hell you are. Know what you like. Know what you, dis what you dislike. And don't let nobody tell you. Nobody on this earth. I don't care if they're your mama, your daddy, you know, your greasy granny. Don't let nobody tell you what you, what you should like and what you do. Don't let nobody tell you about yourself. Nobody. Nobody. Because they're, they, they're not you. I don't care how powerful, how influential you think they are. Hell to the now. You ain't me. You're not me. If they, if they, let me put it this way, baby. When you get up and when you get your behind up in the morning, if they're not looking back at you in a the mirror, then the pain, the, the little pain that they have really don't, it really don't matter worth a shit. It don't matter. It really doesn't matter at all. Self-love is one of the most wonderful virtues, and I feel, in all honesty, the reason why this world is in the situation that it's in right now, with wars and people hating each other and just killing each other and all, because it's based on self-love. Ain't got none. Ain't got none to give. Baby, you don't love yourself. You can't possibly have no love to give to somebody else. Don't you know deep inside of you? You have a reserve of love, a reserve that is endless. You have more love in your soul than all the water and all the oceans upon this green earth. And it's given to you from a source that loves you unconditionally, unconditionally, and will forever in a day love you for who you are. You need to learn to tap into that huge, immense, immense source. Spread it amongst yourself gingerly. Then you're ready to love other people, to get into relationships and go out and have fun and meet other people and just have a wonderful time and just spread your light and spread your joy. But until then, you're not ready. Take it, take it from an old wise one. You ain't ready, baby, until you learn to love yourself. You're not ready. You're not ready. A lot of you are in relationships right now, and you're wondering why it's not working. You need to get your ass in front of a mirror and get to know who you are. Because once you know who you are, the authentic audacity of the person that is within your, the, with the soul within your body, who you are, then, and only then, will you be able to understand that other person. And then, by that time, like you guys like to always say, once you love self, you begin to shine so brightly. And then you'll attract whatever you want in this world. Learn to love yourself, baby. It's the next best thing to slice white bread. Anyway, love you guys. Thank you for listening. Bye.